Hello and welcome to my latest Lab Builder solution pack um, for VMAX Toolkit. It's the install AVE solution pack that is there for installing and configuring Evermar virtual editions. So in order to um, to install an Evermar virtual edition you normally have to download the Evermar virtual edition and then do some configuration tweaks um, and customizations to start up the virtual machine. With my solution pack you only have to say install Evermar virtual edition, specify the path to the master which is in my case F lab builder AVE and maybe specify a size. Uh, in this case I pick the one terabyte Evermar virtual edition. Um, what this does right now it checks if a virtual machine already exists. It names them by um, AVE node 1 um, and so on and so forth depending on how many nodes you have installed and where you start. I'll get to the parameters later on. What it does it uh, installs and configures right now a virtual machine with six drives because I selected the one terabyte edition um, that comes with eight gigabyte of memory and two CPUs. Uh, once the virtual machine is configured it starts it up and you're ready to do all that stuff like AVE part and some other things. So for those who don't know how the Evermar virtual edition is delivered um, once you downloaded it from support.emc.com um, you will most likely get um, two files. One is the OVF file which is the um, template um, file and a system file. Um, the system file is the virtual disk that gets extracted right now then into um, into a virtual machine. So normally you would say you specify directory, in this case it's elab builder evermarvirtualedition.ovf and then the disk drive is extracted um, and configured and the VMX file is generated. So if we go to the um, lab builder and we call it EMC Alma Virtual Edition, you see there is a new virtual disk being configured out of the system drive. So this takes a while. Um, just wait for it to finish. Um, while this is doing it, I will go and explain some stuff in my, my install AV AVE. So install AVE, um, we can use the help file. Mm, comes with some parameters. One parameter is master pass that we just used them um, to specify where we downloaded the Evermar virtual install um, edition OVF. Um, the size of the Evermar virtual edition, we get to this later on. Um, the number of nodes you want to deploy and it uh, also um, wants to have eventually a start node. Um, a subnet um, in format of an IP address, the build domain and the VM net. We get to this parameter, so um, let's do a get help um, minus parameter AVE size. So AVE size, um, you see this table here um, has four, um, four possible values, 0.5 terabyte, 1 terabyte, 2 and 4 terabyte. Um, they vary in amount of memory and in the amount of CPU also in the amount and size of the disk drives they want to have. So right now I built the one terabyte machine with eight gigs and two CPUs and six times 215. That's the one we just built. Um, in the next demo we will um, just build a small VM because the small VM will be faster in configuring um, afterwards. Um, it also features some parameters like subnet and subnet comes in the notation of an IP address and it's default to 10.10.0.0. That's the subnet I normally use for all of my deployments. So once the extract of the OVF template is finished, um, it opens up empty with 6 GB of memory, two CPUs, the 100 gig system drive and no other disk drives. The network is bridged and the display um, and the DVD drive is set to auto detect. We just go and close that window here because we don't need it. The virtual machine we just deployed, we also don't need um, AV node R1 and we're going to remove that VMX with my toolkit. Um, that's why I built it for, not to juggle in um, the UI, just to use PowerShell and remove that very fast. Because that's the last virtual machine, it closes also my VMware. So what we do right now is we launch again and install AVE but we select another master pass. We select eLab Builder and we select the just downloaded um, OVF. It's called EMC Avamar Virtual Edition OVF. That's my master pass. 
Um, the AV size, 0.5 terabyte is default, so we don't need to set it. The number of nodes we own, we want to build one node. Start node then is also one per default. The subnet I explained 10.10.0.0 .10 .0 .0 is also fine. And the build domain, um, which in this case is lab builder, I'll leave it also default. VMnet is VMnet2, I'll leave it per default. And there's the configure. What configure does, it runs some customization scripts afterwards. Um, in the virtual machine like avpart.pl and we will see this um, and how it is running by using the minus verbosi switch so right now you see there is no template currently for the vmx master um, so he's building a vmx template so i can build more snapshots from it there's no snapshot on this machine so i build a basic snapshot and out of this basic snapshot i clone my new virtual machine so essentially what i'm doing is cloning the system drives and from there i build the desired amount of disk drives this drives for this virtual machine. I just um, I configure the network interface to match my virtual network. I disable the IDE drive to get rid of annoying um, messages for not um, connecting to the CD-ROM. Um, <clears throat> configure the memory, the CPUs, and then I'm starting the node. And then I wait until the VMware tools are running in the virtual machine. Right now they have the installed state and once the system is up, they are in a running state, like now. And now I can start with customizing the virtual machine from my scripts. Well, the first will be, um, this script will run the partition um, of, the, of the system drives. So I log in with root to, password is always change me, to verify what's going on. So we do a tail um, minus F in the AVE part.log file, because that's the log file for the process that's currently running. And you see here, it's creating the partition tables on those drives. Um, and we just started a PowerShell command for us. And the PowerShell command is invoke VMX bash that runs um, bash commands um, from a bash shell inside my Linux virtual machine. So this will take a few moments. And um, once this is up and running, um, we will do some other customization stuff with that virtual machine. Um, what I also will do meanwhile I will start my domain controller in order to have a um, DNS up, up and running. So let's just because um, I want to um, I have my Evermar virtual machine to talk to that DNS server. Otherwise, we would uh, we would have some problems if DNS is not up and running. So um, once he's done with partitioning and labeling, he's um, building the um, file system structures and mounting the file systems um, as the data drives. Once this is done, I'm configuring the network. So there are multiple ways of doing this. You can use Yast command line. Not all Yast command lines are available in all versions of SUSE Linux. So I have to do some um, stuff to edit the net config files. Um, to match my domain and my DNS servers. And once this is done, I'm just go um, and reboot the node. Um, I need to reboot the node um, um, because that's the requirement for the installation steps. <clears throat> so again, I wait for the virtual machine rebooted. I do this again with um, checking for the VMware tools. They're currently in installed state. And once the machine is up, um, the, the tools will be in a um, running state. Just do some file system checks. And once the file system checks are done, it brings up the network interface, tools are in running state, and now I can continue with running my scripts. So the next script, next script will be, um, I will just launch the AV installer script, which is the, uh, the bootstrap of the AV installer. Um, once this is launched as the process in the virtual machine, um, I can hook into the um, web browser and connect to the virtual machine, um, to the IP address of the virtual machine, um, to the um, AVI GUI and 
go out and configure Evermar, my Evermar node to my desired settings. So this is the web interface that we have to use. I fire this up automatically from within, um, uh, didn't end Chrome the last time. So we do secure connection. Um, yeah, okay, we trust this one. So we can log in here with root and password is still change me. And now we can do the normal Avamar uh, configuration installation. So we unlock the um, the um, installer with support. In one, and we are in. So we have to refresh this a few times, um, and this will take a few moments, um, and then the Evermar install package will be there. Um, this typically takes um, one to five minutes, and once the Evermar install package is there, we can run through the configuration. So that's so far for my um, Evermar installer solution pack for for LabBuilder. I hope you enjoyed and will use this. Thank you and bye bye.